Hello guys, I am Dirk and welcome to my fourth series on my channel. Um, in this I'll be playing Hand of Fate. Um, pretty recently released, um, hasn't been out too long. It's an amazing game. Back so soon. With great I stuff. I'll not tell you that this. Ah, good. Now you understand the basics, we can begin in earnest. So as you may have guessed, Your hero is returned to his beginning items. Our decks are reset. Welcome to the cabinet, home of the members of my court. So, as you may have guessed, um, it is a card game, but at the same time, it is not a card game. Um, there is action, and you control a character. Um, but the 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 hand you and your opponent across from you are dealt. By the way, amazing voice acting in this game. Um, your the hands the hand you draw and the opponent across from you, the hand he draws, um, determine the setting and everything involved um, and then you go into it into the I guess dungeon and um, play it like any action hack and slash type game um, I think story mode is a little more guided than endless mode um, but um, for the time being we're gonna stick with story mode um, until we unlock quite a bit of stuff um, so yeah if, if you haven't if you haven't heard of this game um, and you, and you haven't seen anything about it. Um, amazing game. I think it was only like 20 bucks on Steam or something like that. Scared of returning um, to the fray. But I'm I'm super excited to finally be able to do this. And fortunately, um, it seems I'm able to um, record this at least. I for the moment I'm only trying it on 30 FPS. Um, as long as this goes okay, um, I may eventually try to go up to 60. But uh, we'll see when we get there. Um, so without further ado, let's dive in. So I've defeated the Jack of Dust. Um, this was in the tutorial. Because it was in the tutorial, um, and I haven't beat him on camera, I think I will go back to the Jack of Dust. The ruins of an ancient temple among the eternally shifting sand dunes lives as a mysterious leader of the desert bandits. Okay, nothing important. Um, if you want to read the lore, pause it, read the lore. Um, I w normally I would on my own, but uh, I don't want to. I want to keep the video relatively short. Um, so let's get into it. Let's go to the deck builder. Okay, so I guess I just used the recommended um, one. Okay, I guess back, and then we will go to start game. Um, I am going to make things a little quieter though. I just want to uh, make sure the music isn't overpowering. Um, and and the his voice was a little strong as well. Um, but with that, let's get back what into it. What brings you to play the game? So as you can see, um, I know you will not tell me. The cards like on the table. The rest, you are silent. The cards on the table um, lay out the path you have to go. You can only go to a card that is connected to the card you are on. Um, in the bottom left, you will see we have health, food, and gold. Um, health is pretty obvious. Food. Um, for every space you move, you lose one food. Um, so you have to be careful because if you um, I'm not sure what happens when you lose all your food, if you get stuck and automatically lose, or if you die or um, and start start losing health. But um, food is important, and gold um, is important also for obvious reasons. Um, there are shops and stuff where you can buy items, weapons, food, all sorts of stuff. Um, so without further ado, we'll take the only option available to us. Oh, by the way, um, here's our inventory. As you can see, we don't have much. We have a rusty axe, which is 20 damage, and light armor, which is light defense, um, but it doesn't have penalty to speed, which is good. Um, but other than that, we have absolutely nothing. So, um, let's go on. And we hit the maze of a traps. Cave, traps, and the hope of treasure. It's all I could ask for, and more. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. So, you found a goblin treasure cave, will you enter? Yes, I think we will. 
and this is pretty cool how it places you in the setting. Um, you guys should enjoy this, I'm sure. Yeah, I, I think it's pretty cool now how it does that. To raise the stakes. The arena itself will fight against you. Beware of my oh, tracks. Okay, I didn't take damage there. Um, oh, okay. I just want to make sure I don't um, take damage I don't have to take here. Can you break? Oh, I can... One. Knock one over. Apparently I can't do that with the rest. Uh, maybe it's just... Okay, there we go. I was wondering if you could get things from doing that, but uh... It doesn't quite look like it. And there we go. We made it through unblemished. Um, and as you can see, because we moved one, we did lose one food. So, having survived the traps, we loot the chest. The dealer will draw us three game cards. Um, first sure one is an armory card, um, which we got an axe, which is Are you a woodsman obviously an upgrade now? from the rusty axe. Um, we will equip that. Are you sure that's the right approach? Um, we got 15 gold, which is good, and 40 gold on the next one. Even better. So we have 55 gold. Um, any shops we find will be a uh, um, pretty good. So after opening the chest, the traps lay dormant and you make your way back to safety. This card's token is now yours. The token is yours. Well done. So uh, the token in the in the bowl, it's like um, like if you're playing poker or something, uh, that's like the pot. Um, if you win, you get those tokens. If you lose, obviously you do not. Um, so let's continue on. Oh, we have Mr. Lionel. I'm starting to wonder if you're simply leaving this card in as a quick way to get your hands on a shield. Um, whilst enjoying your evening, evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes the seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. Um, by the way, for the first few, I am going to read these just until, you know, we kind of uh, see a lot of the story um, once we've seen a lot of the story though I'll probably um, skip through um, ones we've already been with or already uh, gone through um, so let's continue his wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness my name is Mr. Lionel if you give me what I need boy I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation um, let's just ask him what he needs need I need to help you Mr. Lionel taps the staff on the ground and a shield materializes at your feet. There you go, old bean. He smiles a warm grin that reveals all his chipped and yellow teeth. Your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? Sounds kind of an insult. Face reminds me of his son. I'm assuming his son looks like him, and that's a, it's a pretty nasty face. With the odd mustache that goes over his teeth. Um, so let's continue. Um, we got a shield. A With strong shield. left arm is as important as a strong right arm, after all. With a shield, we can um, block and counter attacks from our enemies, um, so that'll be helpful. Then, before you can stop him with inhuman speed, he snatches a pickled onion off your plate and sprints out the tavern door. Um, so there we go. Let's go here, make sure it's equipped. It is. Um, we'll go up to the top and hit the Twisted it Canyon. It lives in every game. That initial moment where things begin. I have worked on these cards all my days. And the canyon has been there from the outset. So, you see a weapon glinting in the sunlight lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. Um, let's climb down to retrieve it. So we have three chances for success. One, four, failure. A choice. Select your um, desire. Let's go with this one. Failure, naturally. Um... Begin to make your way down the cliff face, but soon slip and fall painfully onto the rocks below. The dealer draws you one health pain card. And we lose 15 health. Oh Not dear. good. Um, apparently we still get the weapon, um, despite the health. So that is good. 
Um, let's stick with, <coughs> excuse me, let's stick with the axe for the time being. Um, and we'll continue on and hit the stairs. Every step you take consumes food, but you will also heal as you proceed. And he just touched down what I was about to say. Um, food went down, health went up. So, let's climb up the stairs and see what lays in store for us. You are on the final floor of our simple map. Your opponent waits here for you. Find him. If you defeat me, well, it is early to be talking about victories and losses. Let us see what you're made of. So what I try to do is I take the right hand path first. Um, since there is no right or down from here, I will go to the one, only one I can go to. Um, hopefully I find some food soon. Traveling mage. I don't think I've seen this in any videos. In a shitty grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. We will approach the shop. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. Hopefully he can uh, sell us some food. That would be most useful at this point. Um, oh, excuse me. Let's sell... Let's sell the sword we're not using. And... Let's see what he has for sale. Herney's antlers. Lizard men take double damage from the player's attacks. I'm going to pass on that. Alchemical silver. Press right bumper to attack faster with each successful strike. The longer your combo reaches, the more explosive the reaction. Um... Not too sure on that one. During combat, press right bumper to throw knives in eight cardinal directions. I'm not too sure about this one either. Um, I'll look into it. Um, assuming I have enough for food. Hags wraps. Each strike inflicts a curse, slowing and weakening your opponent. I will buy these. Um, those sound like they'd be useful. It's not enough that you kill them. You'll curse them too. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so we have 27 gold left. I want to get some food. I don't want to die. Okay, apparently this is all we can buy, and it's going to be quite costly, but we'll spend the rest of our gold on this food. And we're up to nine food again. Um, not a lot, but uh, hopefully it'll do. Let's go to our inventory, make sure these are equipped. Good they are. Um, hopefully that'll help us speed through our opponent quicker. The, uh, the hag wraps will, if it's going to slow and uh, weaken our enemies. So we will go to the right. Now. Reveal. The Dead King's Hall. Greed. If it were not for greed, then who would play at this game? You see an ancient ornate coffin in the main burial chamber. It may hold spectacular wealth, but will surely be guarded. Um. Yeah, I'm not backing down. Let's do it. With the Three of Dust and the Two of Skulls. Um, three of dust is bandits, two of skulls, I think is like skeletons or zombie type things. Um, I'm not sure, I've, I only watched like three videos on this game. Um, just to know, just enough to see that I, I wanted it. Um, so let's attempt to take them by surprise. So, huge success, failure, damn. Um, no surprise, you're spotted as you approach and the creatures ready themselves for combat. Um, so we have five enemies to deal with. Um, oh, excuse me, I keep yawning. I don't know what uh, the hell's going on. Uh, I want to find out if there's a way to turn V-Sync off for this. If you guys do know one, um, please let me know, because if you do, I think it'll be more likely I'll be able to um, record in 60 FPS without having my, my uh, frame rate in-game um, dip below that. Um, and that would be really helpful. Um, so let's continue. I really enjoy the, uh, like the rain and all the lighting for this. Um, it looks really cool. So this is our first combat. When you see the green, um, I can counter them. And, uh, I think the hag wraps are, like, doing that, um, um, electrocuting thing, it seems like. And as 
you can see, he was blocking. Um, when they block, I think you have to stun them to be able to, um, to be able to, uh, break the stun, um, which is like a kick thing to the chest. Um, but we went through them easily enough. Um, I guess we'll keep on, keep on going. The dealer draws you three game cards. This card's token is now yours. Um, we get one armory card. Um, we get the healing cap. Um, In my day, we simply avoided being wounded. Healing will suffice, however. Any healing that the player receives is doubled. Um, we're at full health, and um, obviously, oh, since we don't have one, it'll be equipped. Um, we gain three food with a food card, and we get a health tonic. A little oh, wow. extra health. Five max it health. Is only a momentary rest. Um, so it, it boosts our health. Our, our max health, anyways. Um, so that'll be good. We can... It adds to our survivability even more. Um, so let's continue on up. What do we have here? A bandit attack. Our bandits are displeased with your challenges. So, a group of bandits suddenly attacks. The King of Dust isn't happy about you killing his men. The dealer draws you one monster card, which is the Two of Dust. This should be fairly easy. It's just two bandits. Um, yeah, I don't see much. Oh, wow. This room looks interesting. Um, this should be pretty interesting, I gotta say. There we go. Oh wow, especially when the light came flooding in, that was cool. Get wrecked, son! So yeah, that that was really easy. Um zero trouble there. Um, the dealer draws you one gain card, which gave us three food, so that's good. Um, we'll continue on to the Jack of Dust. Again, you face the Jack of Dust. Press on. Do not give up this early. The bandit leader is stronger and faster than most bandits encountered. Encountered, he can become enraged, making powerful, unblockable attacks. He also inspires his followers to steal gold on each hit. So, um, if you haven't been able to guess from that dialogue, I've already faced the Jack of Dust. He was the boss in the um, tutorial, um, so it's um, it's not too too difficult of a boss. Um, really, the only thing I had to watch out for was making sure. Um, when he did his unblockable attack, I hopped out of the way. So you discovered discovered the Jack of Dust. And we will enter and face the foe. See the... Okay, never mind. So we have the Jack of Dust and four of Dust. So four bandits plus their leader. There we go, let's immediately, let's, first things first, let's try and take out the bandits before anything else. Oh, and he tagged us. Well, look out, look out, okay, wow, that was close. Um, I'm, sometimes the slowdown um, can throw you off a little bit, although it could have been because I had him stunned that he his slowdown went even longer. But, um, but yeah, that was pretty easy. Down into the worms with him. Perhaps there is peace for him in the grave, poor soul. So here is our first token, we'll activate it. For exploring the maze of traps you receive, 
the scavenger's cap. Exploring the Dead King's Hall, you receive the treasure chest. Shall we deal again? So yeah, that was uh that was pretty good. Um a good little introduction. I do really like this game. The voice acting, the sound, um, the animations, um, the the combat can be a little um, repetitive because basically there's one combat or there's one attack. Although you do have to stun on occasion, and uh, you have to be careful for, for the uh, power attacks that you can't block and parry. Um, I think the the combat in this reminds me of. Rise, Son of Rome, um, as far as the, like, with the slowdowns and stuff with enemies, um, I didn't have a problem with that game, and I don't have a problem with this either, but I think some people might not enjoy the combat for this, um, because of the slowdowns and everything, but, uh, I am a really big fan of it, um, especially the voice acting for this guy, it's just great, um, but yeah, that's it for today, guys, um, I do hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.